Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first plugin review. Today we're going to review Ray's Minimap plugin. Uh, right now I'm using version 1.9 underscore 02, which works with 1.8.1 as you can see up the top left. Um, I believe this is the most advanced Minimap plugin out there. Uh, the only feature I couldn't find was caves and etc so you can see under the map but uh, besides that it's probably the nicest looking mini map uh, here let me pull up full screen for you isn't that very detailed uh, everything's kind of 3d looking slightly too it's got a sort of like an oblisk uh, to it uh, anyways let me show you some of the settings um, when you first install this uh, Right over on under the coordinates, it'll have uh, press M for map options, and uh, I have it disabled. That it's very well configured. You can turn it on and off for whatever reason you want. Um, death point, I haven't figured out exactly what that is. I'm assuming that's where you died, and if you enable that, they'll show you exactly where you died last. If that's the case, that's pretty handy for finding your body if uh, you died and want to get your stuff back. Uh, mini map options. So we got the circular style if you're into that or the uh, square style which I'm very into. Oh, square for me, yeah. <laughs> map uh, position. You can actually change where you want this map. If you like it on the left side, the bottom left, right, everything. Isn't that awesome? I'm used to the top right in most games so I'll leave it there. Uh, you have a transparency option as well, which is kind of nice. It gives you a bit of, you know, a transparency. Um, I'm not used to having maps that way, but I do like some interface options that way, so you can kind of see through it. You know, something maybe moving or creeping up to you kind of may hide something from you. Uh, then you got this filtering option, which doesn't seem to... Well, it works, but it, it kind of makes it very blurry. Let me show you here. See how it makes it extremely blurry? Um... I'm not sure exactly what the use for that is, but uh, it kind of makes it very blurry. Um, and then, uh, so we we did that. Uh, where were we here? Filtering. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're still here. So, show. okay, so filtering. We take the filtering off. Uh, coordinates, you can change the kind of coordinates. So you can have just uh, 47, 28, 86 uh, rounded. Or you can have the more accurate coordinates. Actually, they're not even rounded. They're basically, they're rounded to... Yeah, they're just uh, cut off. Okay, yeah, so no rounding. Um, or you can have the more detailed ones. Uh, then we have Show Menu Key, which is what's on by default, just so you know where to find it, and you can disable it in these options. Then you got Font Scale. Uh, you know, if you got a big monitor, you can probably put it somewhat tiny. Uh, I have to put it on normal, I find. Large is too much, so yeah or auto, which I think is actually just as fine too, which probably scales with the UI. Um, default zoom, so you can u have a default zoom. Um, I prefer to set mine at 0 0.5. Update frequency, how often it updates. I would assume if you have a slower computer, you want it lower. Um, I'm going to keep mine at medium. You have threading, which works really well. Um, this map seems to actually work so well in the first place that threading didn't seem to make a whole lot of difference compared to the predecessors out there um, and then uh, you got your threading priority so you can put very high or high or etc like I said I didn't find a huge difference with this because um, I think the map is programmed really well to begin with so uh, and then you have surface options you got at daytime nighttime so you can see what it looks like at night and you can do that in full screen as well so you can get an idea of what the area looks at night you know where you can strategically light up areas which is kind of handy um, put that back to daytime uh, you get terrain uh, oh there you go that's a bliss type thing so with that disabled now when we hit M it's very flat looking kind of plain which is what a lot of people like I prefer the uh, the, uh, what do they call it? Undulate, 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 undulate. <laughs> and then you get terrain depth, which is kind of cool. Adds more to it. 
I'm more of a, a disabled. And then you got the transparency here. Uh, oh, okay, transparency is actually on the map itself. And you probably speed it up a bit with having transparency disabled. Or you can enable it to have a better transparency. Um, and then you have environment colors, which is really cool. I think environment colors make the map look really nice. Uh, and then you have this omit health calculator, which you can see some details, but it's really hard. Here, we'll... Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, it's really hard to tell. I think it's where the water and stuff meet up. It's actually really hard to tell from uh, doing it back and forth, but uh, let me uh, enable it and you guys can pause it and go back. Um, and then uh, hide snow. That sounds like a kind of a very uh, unique one. Um, unfortunately, I don't have snow on the map, but I'm sure all it would do is, you know, if this was snow, you would usually see white everywhere. All it would do is make it green, basically, um, which is a, a very cool feature. Uh, we'll check that in a second. And then we have the slime chunk, calc uh, show slime chunk. Uh, so I assume, uh, we right on this world here, we don't have PvP or PvE enabled, but I assume if you go where the red squares are and dig down, you'll eventually hit slimes. Uh, which is kind of cool and a bit cheap, but uh, well, I guess uh, that's one of the features of it. Um, I do find it slightly cheap, but uh, I guess that's something you can't force to stop anyways. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we have some more uh, informations, uh, links to his forms. Uh, here's his name, uh, Ray, Rai, Ray, FNSK and the version information which is great and then not only that we got waypoints you can add current waypoint like spawn you can give it colors um, and then we can go back there's key configurations so you can even set special keys you can even set waypoints with even a, a key here so you hit C look at how handy that is um, time noon oh not noon here uh, let's go to north I think we have snow don't we yes oh no no I think it's south we have snow there we go so let's try out what this looks like with the uh, snow feature here so uh, hide snow enabled there you go so we go back we hit X and as you can see, all the snow has disappeared. Very handy. It doesn't hide ice, but you don't need to hide ice anyways. You know what's under ice? Water. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of a very handy feature. Especially, I guess, if you're looking for pumpkins, you little cheap bastards. But uh, very cool. And it even shows you a really, really cool... Let me uh, hit T here. Right here is the waypoint to spawn, which is really, really detailed, clean. I really like it. You have, you know, you can color code them. Uh, at this time, it doesn't look like you can put a label, say, you know, put a C on it or something. But uh, very, very nice mini map, and I recommend you get it. And uh, for more information on the mini map or to download it, check my comment below. Have a wonderful day.